Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you've been following along on that Road King build. I've got some exciting uh, parts that we're about to add on to the build today. Um, so I'm gonna go over the parts, and we'll get the Road King loaded and get everything done. So first, what we're gonna do, we're, we're adding a fast up air ride kit by Dirty, Dirty Air. Um, I am authorized dealer for Dirty Air. We're also adding the SOB center stand, authorized dealer for those as well. And we're adding the AF custom uh, horn switch. All right, so I'm gonna show you all those parts. <clears throat> we're gonna start with the compressor here. When you get a fast up kit, or even the base kit, you get a compressor. Um, so this is your compressor. It installs pretty easy. All right, so this is your compressor. Here's your shocks. The kit comes with two shocks. All right, so these are your air shocks. And then you also get, if you choose the base kit, you just have the shocks, compressor, and the hardware needed to install that. If you do the fast up kit, then you'll receive a um, storage tank. This is your air storage tank. So basically, air fills up the tank, stores the tank. When you call for air from the switch, it gets it out of the tank. It either airs the bike up or down, whatever the case may be. When the tank gets low, compressor kicks on and fills the tank back up. All right, so this is a, the air tank by Dirty Air. All right, and then you get a bag full of hardware, regulator, uh, switch. You get a dump valve as well when you do the fast up. So we're gonna install that dump valve for safety. Um, now I'm not using the, the regular switch. All right, and you also get the instructions. Dirty Air goes above and beyond on these instructions. Um, and they also send you some nice stickers. See the stickers? You can add those to your, to your toolbox. All right, so now let's move on to the next part here. On this particular build, and actually on my road glide, the red road glide, um, I'm using the horn switch by AF Customs. AF Customs does a good job on this uh, ingenuity on this switch. So here's the horn switch. All right. So on that horn switch, basically it mounts above the horn. You wire it into your air ride, and you wire it into your center stand. So you choose which one you want, which which to which, and you up and down. Um, you wire it up, and that's where you call for your call for your air or your center stand. Now you can also use the end dash uh, the end dash switch. The switch option is up to you. So however you want, it's your build, it's custom, right? And then uh, AF Custom sends you a nice sticker and some directions that we probably won't need. So let's get those out of here. All right, and next up, this is the heavy boy. Uh, this is our SOB center stand, all right? So some of you have already ordered the center stand from me with the air ride, but this is what the center stand looks like. Now there's other center stands out on the market, but I've installed several of these and installed, these is actually on my red bike, the road glide as well. Um, but this is how it looks before it's installed, all right? So the actuator comes out, it raises the center stand up or down, whichever is needed. Um, and you're all, you are able to install this with the crossover bar as well. Um, so that's no need for that question, right? Now SOB, them guys send you over a um, some thicker feet or the smaller feet. The option's up to you, depends on how you want your bike to sit. And they also send you over a good old koozie, all right? So like I said, <clears throat> these items are about to get installed, so let's cut to all that. We're gonna start with the air ride, but first of all, we gotta get the bike up on this table and uh, get these shocks and the air ride uh, installed. So I'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, we got the bike loaded and we actually got the shocks installed. Alright, so in order to remove the old shocks, you have a bolt here, bolt here. You take those bolts off, put your new shock on. Now the air shock is able to uh, to go up and down, um, but you might want to put a jack underneath it, you know, to stop the bike from dropping down. So actually we did both sides, alright? Same thing on the other side. Alright. So what we're gonna do now is install our air compressor. 
All right, here's our air compressor. It, it actually goes here. So. So what you want to do is, as you can see in a previous clip here, um, this is the airline, so it's like a push, it locks in when you push it in. So I run it over, I'm doing all my piping and everything on the other side of the bike. So I usually start with this airline, push it in, run it behind the battery. So I got it where I'm going to get it, or where I want it, should I say. We're going to go ahead and uh, zip tie it. I'm going to uh, pause for a second. I don't know if you guys knew this right here with the zip tie, some of you might. Um, my guy Steve from Sick Baggers taught me this one. I'm sure he probably TikToked it or seen it somewhere. I know he, I know he didn't make it up. But a brand new bag of uh, zip ties. Boom. Look at there. Now you don't have zip ties falling out everywhere. So, pretty cool. Or maybe not. But uh, basically take a zip tie so it doesn't get into your belt. So hit that with a zip tie right here. Leave a little flex for it to move just a little bit. And uh, make sure it's tight. Cut that off. And like I said, if you guys are not a subscriber of my guy Steve at Sick Baggers, go over to his channel, check him out. Um, he does a lot of shout outs for LEDs and bags as well. He may or may not hear this. <laughs> so we get all that piping over here. Just kind of let it hang until we get to the other side of the bike. Um, and while we're here, we're just going to go ahead and run this. So I use a zip tie. I pull some out right here. Zip tie right here. Now I don't pull it tight until I got the wire to where I want it. Just kind of let it hang. And then you come back through on the back end and button, button everything up. Now this bike did have the uh, lights in the, in the uh, right here where the compressor went. So we went ahead and removed those off camera. We won't be needing those. All right, so. Just let those hang there <clears throat> and uh go we'll fish the wire up through here. Yeah, we'll get the wire fish up through there. 
But right now, like I said, we're working on the piping. So I'm gonna go move the camera to the other side and we're gonna uh, get everything fitted up with the uh, dump valve and everything. All right. Alright, so everything on the other side was pretty much um, pretty much buttoned up and I kind of waved, pushed everything over to this side. So here we have it. We have um, we have the red wire coming from the compressor. We have the black wire coming from the compressor on the other side. Um, we have the wires that's coming from the air tank. And we have the piping that's coming from the shock on the other side so basically i'll handle all my business right here with the uh with all the piping um but right now what we're going to do is get the dump valve um just kind of moving along we're gonna get this dump valve squared away now it has um some pipe uh tesla tape <clears throat> or pipe dope as uh as i was learned to call it back in the day old school so we're going to get this on here let me get it started first before i hold it and this is a dump valve, so it's when you uh, when you're parked, or if you let your bike sit for uh, a period of time, it's like a safety valve, and it comes with the fast up kit. Um, and you just go around, get this on here. It's not holding. And um, I found a spot where I'm going to put it. It's already a hole there. So I have a step bit that I'm going to use to make the hole a little bigger. Um, to mount it right here to the firewall. Right here. So I'll just take it right here. Now on the uh, street glides and road glides, the firewall is a little larger. There's more room to, to add it. If you were doing a regular switch, this is where the switch would go as well, but we're doing the horn switch. But well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of push through this thing. And uh, I have to do the same thing with the pipe dope. When you hook the wire, the cable up on the, from the compressor to the tank. Um, if you don't, you have an air leak, right? So, I kinda wanna get this thing tight. And I think, I think she's on there. Let me give it one more turn, and then uh, I believe we are good to go. And usually what I do, once I get an air ride done, um, I'll air it up. If it has a gauge, and I'll mark where, where the gauge is at. But I'll air it up and let it sit overnight to uh, determine if there's any leaks or anything. Um, or even while I'm out here working on it, I'll air it up. And if it stays right where it's at, man, it's shit, you're good to go. I think we got this thing on here. <clears throat> it's pretty tight. So, you just basically follow the diagram that uh, Dirty Air lay out for you. And I'll stick a picture on the screen. Um,
in that diagram, you're gonna go from the uh, compressor to the relay. Just follow, just follow the diagram and, and, and map it out. So right now we're gonna work on the airlines. We're gonna get those mapped out. We're not doing the air gauge. It's pretty much gonna be a feel. Now on the road glide, I have an air gauge. Um, but this this the road king I felt didn't need one. It's gonna kind of feel where it's at. Feel the comfort comfort lever. Can air it down, air it up, whatever the case may be. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and get the, the piping done, then we'll move over to the wiring, and then we can let this thing up in the air. Uh, let me move these wires out the way. All right, so I'm gonna explain the piping real quick. So we got a airline coming from both shocks. So one shock, two shock, and then coming out. They're going in together, they're coming out. We have the airline coming from the compressor to the splitter here. And the other side of the, the T uh, is going into the shocks basically, okay? And then we have the stem here of, of the of the splitter it's going to go into the dump valve which is going to be mounted over here on the firewall so boom 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 and then basically you i like to put the pipe like i said to put the piping over in this area that way you can pull the side cover if you need to work on anything i've been running air ride for several years now and have not had any have had any issues um yeah so basically zip tie make sure your airlines are out the way clean everything up I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, this dump valve mounted, and then we'll be we'll be good to go with the with the airline, and we'll be ready to do the wiring. Dump valves now mounted. See how quick that was. All right. Got your uh, airline going to the dump valve, coming around. Said so just follow the diagram. It's simple to install, easy to install. I got a little extra holes here. I mean airline. I'm sorry. Um, so that's what it might look like once I pin that up right here. It looked like that inside, but I'll make sure nothing's pinched, and I'll just you know tack it up on there. 
but for the most part the air is ran um, the air is done so now it's time to do the wiring and uh, we should be good to go all right like I said earlier you have your air tank here you got your airline and your your wiring you just feed that here now I'm gonna pin up the piping here I'm not gonna uh, zip tie it tight I am going to uh, pin it up to where it's it's just hanging here okay so that way if you need to get in there to fix something or you have an issue whatever it's easy accessible you don't have to take the whole bike apart just to do so um, what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the other side of the bike I'm show it show you it working and then uh, we'll catch you on the next one so just stand by all right we're on the left side of the bike the clutch side so like I said the AF custom um, they do a real good job on that switch I do offer that switch as well so check out LEDsandbags.com. Um, it should be on the site shortly. But this particular switch I have on and off on the front. So it's just a toggle on, off, or off, on, however you set it up. The middle is going to be my center stand. Okay. Um, and then the rear, the back switch is going to be my air ride. Now, I have it wired to where the bike has to be on. So without the bike on, nothing happens. See that? Nothing happens. So that's good. I mean, your bike's, can nobody just come and... Put your bike up, whatever case may be. Now, we're gonna cut the bike on. 